Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington here. Tonight we're gonna have a fight between the oldest electric guitar company, Fender, and the sound of the ages, Gibson. Now when I said the oldest electric guitar company, I'm not counting steel lap guitars, I'm counting from when the first solid body upright electric guitar came out in 1950, which was the Fender Telecaster, followed shortly I believe in 1952 by the Gibson Les Paul, it was either 52 or 53. Anyway, these are the two most iconic guitar companies and guitar shapes ever invented. Heads up, warning, this is a little bit of a longer video, so if you're not into that, I'm sorry, but if you are and you like guitar stuff, stay tuned. So anyway, these two guitar companies, everyone has seen this guitar, or at least one like it. They've seen this shape. They've seen a headstock like that that says Fender. Everyone has seen a guitar that's the same shape and the same headstock that says Gibson. Yes, these are both American-made real Fenders and real Gibsons. That doesn't mean they're worth a lot. That just means that I'm picky about my guitars. <laughs> no, it just means that they're real American Fender and real American Gibson. So, you know, with the contest of Fender versus Gibson, this is as close as you're going to get. Now, as a biased, I am running through a Fender amp, but that's just because I prefer the tone. I don't have a Gibson amp, but I have owned one. The tone was pretty cool. It was a very classic tone. So we'll start off with the Fender. I believe I've done the review on this a while ago. But I'll do a couple touching key points. Fender Highway 1 American Strap. Three tone sunburst. Um, I put in Stevie Ray Vaughan custom pickups and replaced the bridge with a working bridge. We'll start off on a clean channel, once I can get to it. Three single calls. I'm not going to go through each position, but I am going to go through the different like sounds you can get. Now, the Fender Strat with the three single coil design has been more for a classic rock sound and an indie clean rock but that's not to say that you can't use it for high gain stuff like metal punk gr i mean heck uh billy joel armstrong the guitar lead guitar player now and singer of green day his first guitar was a fender mock strap Meaning it wasn't an actual Fender. I don't know what company it was. But it was a Strat. Granted it had a single or a humbucker in the bridge. But still. And you get various tones out of this thing. It's a very versatile sound. You can have the You can have a higher gain metal like sound, but it'll still a little harder with strats. Characteristic with the Fender Stratus, if I do this, all that hum and background noise, and this squeal, is because of the single coil pickups. 
switch and put in the Gibson you'll hear a, you'll hear a very different tone but that was the fender strap that was my first real electric guitar that was my workhorse guitar I've had that guitar through most of my playing um, and they're great guitars really affordable and you gotta have I feel like I'm a guitar player. I'm also, I guess you could say I'm a collector. And I feel like you gotta kind of at least own, at for a short period of time, one of every shape. This is my favorite baby, my Gibson. Although it's getting rivaled by its new baby brother, the SG. So, immediately, all that humming and noise, it's all gone. It's because of these amazing pickups called humbuckers. still have that treble pickup sound that you get out of a single coil though. Country, blues, punk, metal, grunge, uh, jazz. You can. These are almost as versatile. Even more so when you put it like a coil tap in it to make it sound like that. And if you add the gain, you still hear background noise, but all that humming is gone. <laughs> Thank you. 
each one of these guitars have an amazing distinction between them being their tone, the wood, the neck. This is an all mahogany body with just a maple cap, maple neck, and rosewood fingerboard, giving it more of a heavier sustain and a warmer sound. With the humbucking pickups, it just makes it an all-encompassing sound that you can use for a lot of your chugging and your shredding. While this is made out of an alder, which is a brighter sounding wood, with a bolt-on neck, bolt maple, and rosewood fingerboard with three single coil pickups that are wound to sound brighter. For cleaner rock, blues rock, your jazz, your country, but you can use them for whatever you want. The purpose of this video is to show the different sounds. Is, he, is one better than the other? I don't know. It's up to you. In my opinion, I love both. I've had both of these guitars for years, and I'm going to have these both guitars for years. As you can tell, they both have their worst for wear battle scars. But what do you guys think? Is Fender the king of guitar? While the Fender Strat is the most popular guitar out there, the best selling guitar, Les Paul ain't far behind with second. What do you guys think? What do you like the shape better? And maybe you just don't like either of them. You have a better preference of like Ibanez or Dean. Tell me what you guys think. Hope you hear from you guys soon. And I hope you guys like this little fun video. This is Jack Punkington signing out. Peace, guys.